So within our application, we'll be using a variety of Ionic components. And the way that we import these components is done by importing from Ionic slash React. So head to the top of app.js and inside of here we want to import from at Ionic slash React and we want Ion app, Ion header, Ion toolbar, Ion title and Ion content. Once we've imported a component, we can use it inside of the render method by heading down to the bottom of our component here and inside of render we'll delete everything and we'll say ion app we want to then say ion header inside of the header we want an ion toolbar inside of the toolbar we want an ion title and we'll say the title will be bitcoin price tracker and underneath the header we want an ion content so as you can see the ionic application is split into these different sections. We have the full application right here. We then have the ion header, inside of which we have a toolbar and a title. And then underneath the header, we have the content that can be considered the body of our application. Let's hit save and see what happens to the screen. If we now look here to the right, you can see we have Bitcoin price tracker and it looks like it's a toolbar from material design. This is great because now we know that our Ionic application works as intended and we can add the color attribute to the toolbar. Let's add color equals to primary. Once we do that, you can see we now have a blue toolbar with white text. Inside of our render function, let's say const Bitcoin info and we'll place this inside of an object is equal to this dot state. What this will do is pull out the Bitcoin info property from this dot state. And we can then display this inside of ion content. Let's add a code block. And inside of that, we can say JSON dot stringify. And we want to stringify Bitcoin info. When we do that, you can see it's briefly empty for about half a second. And then we see the information here on screen. Now, although we have the data on screen, we're not doing a good job of representing it inside of our UI. That's what we're going to be doing now in the next video.